All right, what's up, guys? My name is Zach, and first of all, Happy New Year. I uh, hope you guys celebrated it responsibly and had a good time. And it is now 2018, which is hard to believe. Um, so today, if you read the title, we are going to be recreating my RX-7 in Forza 7. What I like about Forza is that you can actually tune it, so we're going to try to get it to be as close to my actual RX-7 as possible. And as you can see, I've already done it over to the right, but for the sake of the video, we're actually going to build uh, a completely new one um, just because one that's more entertaining to watch everything that goes into it uh, and also I kind of want to tweak and change some things um, since I have some new knowledge on my car so we could actually keep it the factory red because my car is the factory red so this is the right paint color stock parts fitted in the game, it is a GSL SE, um, which my car in real life is not, but since I 13B swapped, the GSL SE in this game actually already has a 13B, so we are kind of have the right engine, mine's a little bit newer, but also, before I get into this, for you guys who saw the um, end of the year video, so I kind of messed up with that. Um, well, Microsoft Sam really messed up saying it because I said it, I didn't know if I wanted to go full race car or not. What I meant by that is I don't know if I wanted to kind of update the interior or keep it fully retro because I really like the retro feel. But I think I've decided I want to do a bucket seat and quick release. Um, I want to do a doubled in touchscreen radio and then a gauge pod instead of the old quartz clock. Um, so little stuff like that, and then I kind of want to do either a, uh, not a full cage, but like a little, like, maybe half cage that goes in between the seats, um, or at least a, uh, a brace for the, uh, shoot, why is that escaping me now? The seat belts, the harness bar, harness bar. That's what I meant by that. Um, I didn't mean, like, gut the interior, make it, like, ratty or anything, um, but that being said, in the future, I would love to get another FB and keep it super stock uh, and do another project car with that of just keeping it stock and keeping it um, and more restoring it rather where Rose started off. I was kind of restoring it, but now I want it to be my driving car. I want it to be my car for, you know, that helps me hone in my skills as a good driver so i want better suspension better tires better brakes that sort of thing um but yeah definitely down the road uh if i start making more money then i'd love to get another fb and keep it totally stock or even an sa really um i've always wanted a canary yellow sa with the plaid seats and the 12a um so maybe down the road but let's actually get into this car sorry i'll stop blabbering so let's go over to rims um there's a couple different options these are okay but i think there's another one i think these kind of look more like them um they have a little bit more dish like i do so we're gonna do that 3500 um and then we'll bump that up since i have r15s so i'm, I'm going like full to my spec yeah that looks good i mean in real life, I have more poke than that, but that's fine. On, well, as of right now, I haven't touched any of this stuff, but we will do exhaust to try to get me because... Okay, we'll do stage one exhaust, and then can we do like an air filter or something? Okay, we'll do an air filter then. Um, because the stock S4 probably makes about 100... Well, made 145 from the factory, so... I know I do have an actual exhaust and I do have an actual air filter on my engine, but we're just going to stick with the 145. So this is 146 horsepower. So that's that. And the other thing we have to upgrade is the transmission. Now I know I don't actually have an upgraded transmission in real life, but we will be messing with the gear ratios to then actually match my actual transmission. Um, and I have a stock clutch, stock suspension, um, tires or stock although one day maybe even this year if i could find one i do want to do a wing like that but in black but that's down the road okay so that is it for really cosmetics and performance so we're up to around the power number that i probably or at least i would have put out again i will be putting the car on the dyno this year um which i'm super excited for but what was i gonna do 
tuning and upgrades. All right, tune. So this is the kind of cool, important part. So on my computer next to me, I have up the Mazda Tricks website, um, which is a really helpful website. And they have all of the gear ratios for all of the RX-7s um, and some Miatas and RX-8s. So, if you guys know my car, as of right now, as of January 1st, 2018, um, my car is still sitting in storage, so it's the same as last year, but it has a 1982 Trans in it. So, I'm looking at the 1982 12A Trans um, gear ratios on their website, and I'll leave a link down uh, in the description. So we're actually going to match that. So first gear, let's look at it. I'm, I'm going to have to trace this every time is 3.674. And I'll put this all down at the bottom. So 3.674. So three, that's really how my transmission is set up. Which is actually really cool that you can adjust all of these. So now it should shift and everything like my car. Um, so let's get out of here. Let's go to the paint shop just real quick so we can black out those wheels. And then we'll have uh, really my car. So while we're doing that, um, for those of you who don't know, I do have a gaming channel on the side. And I've been messing around with streaming. Uh, I, I've been streaming some Call of Duty World War II not even I don't even commentate over it I've just been practicing streaming like actually getting used to it and I thought would you guys want to participate in a subscriber stream where I'll just have an open lobby here in Forza and you guys can we could do like a drift competition or something uh, with you guys I thought that'd be pretty fun so let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I'm definitely open to doing that all right um, we'll just run it on road america and the reason why um i'm just gonna run it on road america <clears throat> is because thankfully my brother got me a pass for june 29th up at road america um it's a sunset cruise so it's not actually like a track day oh, i just hit my controller on the table it's not actually like a track day it's just three laps under 90 miles an hour um but i'm actually going to be getting my rx7 on to road america so i know as of right now january 1st i'm doing this in a video game but uh come june and i'm of course i'll film it um, hopefully I'll actually be getting my RX-7 on track. So as you could feel, or well as I could feel, this car is really slow. And in real life my car is pretty slow. Um, which is okay. I, I do have some plans for that. I've been thinking about, well Mike from Red Miss Automotive, um, if you guys remember him from the Diesel Dino video and all that stuff, he has three FB RX-7s. Um, which is really cool, and that's what we always talk about. But uh, he talked me into looking into a lightweight flywheel um, and an exhaust, or a header, um, which header would produce bigger flames, but also better flow. Um, a lightweight flywheel, he said, makes a huge difference, and then maybe an S5 intake. Um, so I'm thinking I might just build the S4 NA for a little bit here. I'm, I would love the Turbo 2 swap, but I just put the engine in. I, I feel like I want to enjoy it for a little bit. If it pops, um, yep. Definitely need brakes. I mean, even in this game, you can tell that I need brakes. Um, <clears throat> if my S4 NA 13B pops, which please, I hope it doesn't. <laughs> um, which actually, I got a lot of premix over winter break, so that's good. But um, if it pops, I'll turbo two swap, but. Um, as of right now, I'd like to just kind of build this 13B for a little bit. See how much power we can make out of a just a NA 13B. And that doesn't that probably doesn't mean porting. Um, although I would love like a street or bridge port, I think that'd be really cool. It, it's pulling the motor out again, and at that point, might as well just go turbo too, because I'm already pulling the motor out. But I don't know. That's just me um, personally, but. Uh, so yeah, so a lot of stuff coming up, um, the Road America thing will definitely be cool, I'll film that, um, definitely want to do some more power mods, but of course other mods to my car this year, 
Um, I'm going to try to keep rotary life, like, more... There's probably going to be fewer rotary life episodes, but they're probably going to be longer. Um, just because I know sometimes you guys wait around for them and then I don't really do much. I'm like, oh, I'm checking my tire pressure. But it's just to get content out there, kind of remind you guys that I'm still working on the car. And a lot of last year was just me enjoying the car. So, that's that. And then also let me know if you guys would want to do a subscriber match. Um, maybe, actually, what would be kind of fun is uh, if I just race your guys' builds against Rose in the game. That'd actually be pretty fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're running a little long here. Um... But I'm super excited for 2018. I actually have my voice back. Thank God. Um, it was a rough, rough couple of days. But uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video. Comment on the video. Subscribe if you really liked it. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see here in 2018. Take care, guys. Oh, and also, I will, uh, I will put the tune for Rose uh, up on my storefront. My gamer tag is Lambo13. Um, don't make fun of me. I made that in fourth grade. Oh, it'll actually do donuts. Look at that. Look at that. Um, so yeah, I'll put this tune up on my storefront. So if you guys want to drive my exact RX-7, you can. All right. Take care, guys.